and you will have a testimony that you have read through the Bible twice yeah. in one year. Yeah. What an awesome testimony. I want you to realize something. As you get more of the word of God inside of you, you are allowing yourself to be conformed into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, when you sir. get that Bible inside of you, you won't react when somebody slapped you. Come on, come on. When you get it inside of you, somebody can spit on you and you won't have no fighting. Yeah. You won't be always on your God and got your dukes up yeah. when God transforms you into the image of his dear son, yeah. Jesus Christ. They spat on him. They slapped him. They rebuked him. They yeah. killed him. And he went to Calvary and died for the very yeah. people who yeah. were doing that to him. Thank you, Jesus. That's what you're going to become as you become transformed by the renewing of your mind. Well, we're so glad to have our yeah. bishop with us yeah. tonight, and he's going to lead us in a word of prayer. Can y'all say amen for the founder and bishop, Don E. Hudson? When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he done for me, my soul, hallelujah, I thank God for you saying, listen, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, Baby girl already. Oh, Amen. Awesome. She, she, her job called her out. 
And My she's a registered nurse. Yeah. Her job called her, so she she's working tonight. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hey, Amen. We're going to miss her. Miss her being in service with us. Yes. Amen. She's a great help. Yes, she's she our administrator. Yes, she is. Amen. So we thank God for her in her absence. Amen. 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 Lord God, in your name, man, we thank you. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your grace. Thank, thank you for your Jesus. salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God, to bless tonight. Bless the one that's going to break the bread tonight. Bless Facebook, man, YouTube. Let them get their pencils and, and paper and write this down. Lord God, we thank you for just having a sound mind, Lord God, in this perverse generation. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus, we thank you now, God. I was discussing earlier this evening about the condition the world is in. Amen. But God's word is so so plain, a fool won't even err. That's right. If he study the word of God, see what's going on. God bless us right now. Yes. Help us, Jesus. We need you. We need your power. We need your grace. We need your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you, God. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. As you bless, bless, bless tonight. The one out of sound my voice. If they're sick, heal them tonight. God, I see the blessed bereaved family tonight. In the name of Jesus. I, I went to two people home earlier tonight. Amen. Two sisters gone. I see the blessed bereaved family. They have our condolences. In the name of Jesus. God, you make no mistakes. No. I just thank you right now for it. Now bless the night, God. Bless them. If any sick out there, heal them. If they sin, please forgive them and keep them covered under your blood. Yeah, yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you now for what you're doing, what you're going to do, what you have done. In Jesus' name, we thank you and praise you now. As you to bless, continue to bless Elder Michael Hudson and Rhonda. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And, and Florida. Yes, Lord. Jesus. And continue to bless them, God. Yes, God. He's been real sick this week, but you're bringing him back now. Yes, we thank you for him right thank now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. As you bless him and touch that body. In Jesus' name, God, we're going to pray you because you deserve it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Yes, God. Amen. 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 We thank God for our pastor and our bishop Hallelujah. and for our musician and our friend. We've been hanging out today. Had to go to a couple of uh of, of funeral homes to, to uh, say so long to those so who long. passed on over. But I tell you, you one day there's going to be a great reunion All in right. the air. Sure I want to be there. I want to be there. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There you go. Ooh, so the goal here tonight is to get ourselves in a position so that when we're raptured, mm -hmm. whether we're raptured individually, like all of the people that we have seen go on so far, yeah. or whether we're raptured collectively, mm -hmm. the goal is to go back with him. Amen. So the song on my heart says, I want to go back with him. I want to go back with him. I want to go back with him. When he comes, he's coming on a cloud. I know you want to 
go. But in order to go, you got to be ready. You got to prepare yourself. Just like you have to prepare yourself if you're going on a natural trip. If somebody's going to take you up to the mountains, you're not just going to sit right there at your house and don't pack your bags and, and don't uh, don't get your ticket and don't go to the bank and collect them and just sitting there waiting on them to take you to the mountains. Mm -hmm. You're going to do whatever is necessary go, so man. that when it's time to go, yep. they can come out there and blow the horn. Boop, boop, boop. Right. You can get in the car and go. Uh -huh. Same thing with preparing to go back Amen. with the Lord. There are some prerequisites. Oh, yeah. Prerequisites. That's what you're going to learn tonight. That's what free gospel deliverance center of the apostolic faith is all about. Oh, that's right. Building the kingdom mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ. We're going to move on because tonight we got a long way to go. All right. My God, my God. We are in 1 Corinthians, y'all. <laughs> Corinthians. We started in Revelations. Mm -hmm. Now we're all the way up to 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And we're headed toward Genesis. All right. Whew, I think when I get in that Old Testament, it might slow me down a little bit. But that'll just mean I'll do a, a couple fewer songs. <laughs> Because okay. I intend to get it done, get it done. in one year. Yes. My God. So, 1 Corinthians, the uh, first chapter, mm -hmm. and verse 1. Amen. Paul, All right. who was called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. through the will of God. Mm -hmm. See, Paul is letting you know it wasn't his will. No. He didn't choose it. He God. chose to do just the opposite. He chose to kill and destroy the disciples of God. Every Amen. follower of God Amen. was a target, had a target on his back as far as Paul. But by the will of God, mm -hmm. God knew when he was in, before he was in his mother's womb, Amen. that he was the one that would be ordained to be the apostle to the Gentiles. Oh, Can you say thank God for that? Amen. Because without oh. that, Amen. you and I, doubtless, thank would God. be saved. Hallelujah. And Sosthenes, our brother, a companion that traveled with him, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, mm -hmm. to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all that in every place yeah. call on the name of the Lord oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, both theirs and ours. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. He ain't talking to the sinners, y'all. He's not talking to the ones who have not yet gotten on the ark. Mm -hmm. He is talking to those who are saved already. Mm -hmm. The word of God says that the, the scriptures are for rebuking those yes. who are saved. Yes. For correcting those who are saved. For instructions in righteousness mm -hmm. of those who are I don't know why mm -hmm. we think the, the Bible is for the sinner. Mm -hmm. Now it's our job mm -hmm. to witness to the sinner and get him to mm -hmm. change his mind. Change his path. Change his way and get on God's ship. But this is to those who are called to be saints. Are you called to be a saint? This is to you. Verse 3. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So tonight I, in the authority that God has laid on my shoulders, I speak grace to you. Peace. From God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 4, I thank my God always on your behalf, said Paul, for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. See, God ain't no stingy God. Right. He ain't no respecter of person kind of God. Amen. And the same grace that he laid on Paul, right here Paul is saying, I thank him because he laid it on you. I ain't jealous of you. Right. I'm not mad because God has saved you. I hadn't been out here praying. I, I hope this one fall in the ditch and go. I'm, oh, not, I'm glad for right. the grace All right. that God has put upon you. That in everything ye are enriched by him. There is no aspect of your life that you can be involved in that cannot be enriched Amen. if you acknowledge him, acknowledge him, if you follow him. Right. If you put your trust in him, trust him in him. all utterances, everything you say, in everything you you doing a wedding, <laughs> put God in it, put, put Jesus in it. Yeah. You're doing a funeral, put Jesus, put Jesus. In. everything you utter, That's right. you remember him. And him. all knowledge. If your knowledge has gotten so big that it has convinced you that there is no God, 
You got too yeah, much yeah. man's knowledge. You need to let that stuff go. Mm -hmm. And arm yourself right. with the Spirit of God, yeah. which is the Holy Ghost. Verse yeah. 6. Even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. See, Paul preached this church out. Yeah, yeah. And he went and listened and he heard and he rejoiced That's that right. the testimony of God is in this group of people. Amen. Verse 7. So that ye come behind in no gift. There is no person in any church that of uh, the Corinthians, the Galatians, stuff, none of them, that your gift here in Corinth is less than. All right. you, you, stand, you shine just as bright. Yes, bright. You stand just as high mm -hmm. as every other of the, the churches that Amen. these gifts were given to. Amen. Waiting mm -hmm. for the coming of our Lord. You don't know yeah. what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You are waiting mm -hmm. for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Who yeah. shall confirm you unto the end? Come he the on. one that's going to at the end. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah. here is the church of Corinth. Yeah. They have stood under the shadow of my wing. They have held up the blood stained yeah. down. He, Jesus Christ, in the end, yeah. is the one who will confirm you. Yeah. So that you come behind in no gift, waiting unto the coming of our Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Verse 8. But who, who also... Confirm you unto the end that ye may be blameless. See, blameless. you didn't know you could be blameless. Yeah. You thought, oh, woe is me. Mm. I'm so weak. I'm so fickle minded. I, I can't. Baby, you can be blameless. blameless. Mm -hmm. You know how to be blameless? Yeah. Hide yourself Bingo. in Christ Jesus. Amen. God is faithful, verse 9 says, yeah. by whom ye are called unto the fellowship mm -hmm. of his son, Jesus Christ. Right. 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, yeah. by the name of our Lord Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah. that ye all speak the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Now how in the world is it possible for every church and every place in this world to speak the same thing? Mm -hmm. Holy Bible. That's it. Amen. If you preach from the Bible, you're going to preach the same thing. Amen. Now, if you're going out there and you got the, the uh, message Bible, mm -hmm. and the message Bible is telling you uh, that, 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 that uh, we had some hamburger sandwiches, for, and, and it's different. All right. See, see, that's how Satan do. We, we people who are wise in Christ, Satan ain't just going to come busting in here and change nothing. Mm -hmm. He's going to ease it in. Mm -hmm. Change one word. Mm -hmm. Change smooth, one jot. Change one tittle. Change one letter. Mm -hmm. I understand that there are some Bibles out there now that look just like, just like the Word of God. But, but in those Bibles, whole verses Hallelujah. have been omitted. That's right. Omitted. How can we speak the same thing if your holy Bible is saying something different from my, what mine? Yep. God wants us to speak the same, same thing. thing. And that there be no divisions among you. Amen. We don't need to be arguing about whether we can eat pork yep. or whether we should be worshiping on, on Sunday yep. Or, yep. or whether we should have uh, special days for special yep. people. The, that's, yeah. that's just a wedge. Yeah. You know what a wedge issue is? Yeah. A wedge is something that's shaped kind of like this. Mm -hmm. Its design is to get in the middle of something, right. and as it enters into the middle of a thing, mm -hmm. it pushes the two things apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, my fingers started out together, didn't they? But as they were wedged between his, this, yeah. you see how the wedge made my fingers apart. fall? Wedge issues, Amen. like abortion. Yeah, you do. That's a wedge issue. Yeah. If you listen to God Almighty, you wouldn't have that issue because you would know that God hates all flesh. Amen. He hates your flesh. He hates the flesh of babies. Uh -huh. In the Bible, the wisest man yeah. that, that God himself said he was mm -hmm. going to give him wisdom above all others. Yeah. And the richest man. Mm -hmm. God himself told him, I'm going to give you riches above mm -hmm. all others. Told mm -hmm. him that in a dream. Yep. And he woke up and received that thing. Mm -hmm. He, when he had a... a, a Discussion between two women oh, over right. the same baby. Mm -hmm. He said, bring the baby here. Yep. Bring me a sword. And head. if that real mama had not said, no, 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 that's, that's, she can have the baby. He would have cut that baby in half. Yep. The wisest man yep. in the world because he understands flesh means yep. nothing to God. Nothing flesh about. stinks in his nostrils. Yes, it does. Flesh is not going to go to heaven. Flesh is not going to go and pay for anything you do on this earth. Mm -hmm. Flesh is going to die. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And when flesh die, your spirit, your soul no is going back to heaven. Now that flesh is going to lay right there. It ain't going to move. It is powerless mm -hmm. without the spirit. It's going to stay there until somebody come in with a gurney, pick it up, yeah. take it and, and, and dispose of it. Yeah. But why we let flesh get us into so much trouble? Hallelujah. Flesh ain't going to judgment. Your flesh mm -hmm. ain't going to stand before the mm -hmm. great white throne of God and, and give account of our, your soul, your spirit's going to do that. Yeah. So you need to let that be in control, not yeah. the flesh. Amen. This says that ye be perfectly, perfectly. joined together, together. Mm -hmm. in the same mind. This is verse 10. Come and on. in the same judgment, mm -hmm. a thing that is perfectly joined mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. leaves no room for anything Nothing. else to get Nothing. in the cracks. Right. That telephone that I'm looking at mm -hmm. right now operates perfectly yeah. because each part is connected that inside of it they, they have this thing called the motherboard uh -huh. and it's got these little pins and things and they yes, are sir. perfectly joined perfectly if any joined one of them six or seven hundred pins are not yeah. perfectly joined in yeah, the right place work. that phone is going to malfunction yes, it is. Mm -hmm. the body of christ needs to be perfectly Come joined on. together so that we can yes, have the same mind yes, and speak the same, same thing. things Verse 11, for it hath been declared unto me. Now, somebody went and told Paul on y'all, Corinthians. Mm -hmm. It's been declared unto me, mm -hmm. my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe. Mm -hmm. See, you got a spy right there in the midst all in your right, church. Right. And that person running, telling everything, everything. that's going on. Everything. You think it's your bosom buddy. You think you can tell and it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. And she out getting on Facebook, telling the whole world what yep. you done told her in yep. secret. Yep. Trying to make herself look good. Here go mm -hmm. the house of Chloe. That there are contentions among you. All right. The, you are not perfectly joined together. No. You're not thinking the same thing and speaking the no. same same thing. Now, this is what I say. That every one of you saith, I am of Paul. Mm -hmm. Then you got some of them saying, I'm of Apollos. Wow. Some saying, well, I'm of Cephas. Mm -hmm. And then you got a bunch over there saying, well, I am of Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Who brought you in? All right. Who, who, who uh, spoke the words of life to you? Mm -hmm. Bishop Roby? Mm -hmm. Bishop Johnson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who? You, you the church of God in Christ. All right. Uh, you you the true holiness Pentecostal ap apostolic Baptist church on the hill. Mm -hmm. Divisions. Yeah. 13. Is Christ divided? No. Says Paul. Was Paul crucified for you? No. Was Elder Johnson, Bishop Johnson, Bishop Roby, uh, Bishop Stocks, were any of those crucified for you? No. 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 That's the scripture say he looked for a man. Yep, couldn't find him. That was his will that he found a man among us to take up the, the slack, One to night. stand in the hedge. And he looked and he looked. He looked to the east. He looked to the west. He looked to the One Couldn't night. find nobody. One so those pastors and preachers did not die for you. Mm -hmm. If they had been crucified for you, it was just a wasted death. Yep. Because the, the sacrifice had to be pure. Had to be pure. Mm -hmm. It had to be without spot, without oh, blemish, yeah. or any such thing. Yes, we got spots, blemishes, and all kinds of such things. Oh, so, yes, no, sir. they didn't Never die gone. for you. Verse 14, I thank God, thank God. that I baptized none of y'all. Yes. Now, that's something. <laughs> when Paul is up here saying, y'all yes, so messed up, yes, tell me, I'm of Cephas, I'm of Apollos, I'm of Paul. Paul saying, I'm glad I ain't baptized. Not neither one yes, of y'all. Messed up. Not neither one of y'all confused people that mm -hmm. I baptized. Mm -hmm. Not neither <laughs> one of you that's out there talking about, I'm a, of Roby, I'm a church of God in Christ, I'm a this, that, I'm Baptist, born and bad. I ain't baptized neither one of y'all. I'm ashamed of you. Yes. That's what Paul is saying right yes. here. Yes. He baptized two people, mm -hmm. Crispus, mm -hmm. verse 14, and he baptized Gaius. Yes. And they are continuing in the right path. The right they path. not out there. They know that Paul did the work. Mm -hmm. One plants, one water, but they know God gave the increase. increase. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. Mm -hmm. Lest any should that say that I baptize in my own name. Mm -hmm. What well, Paul don't want is somebody out there saying, I'm of Paul. They don't, he don't want you saying that. No, he don't. You're not of Paul because mm -hmm. Paul is preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ. 
If you're listening to Malin tonight, you're not of Malin. All right. This is not my God. I'm trying to speak the same thing. That's so I'm it. preaching from the same Bible Bishop Hudson preached from. Amen. I'm quoting the same scriptures, Minister, Minister uh, Reginald Dudley. The same thing. Yes. I, and, and you can tell because when, when, when I'm talking here, if I start saying certain scriptures, they'll finish it. Yeah. Same thing. Same, same Bible. Same, same book. book. No confusions and all that stuff. So to, to get rid of the confusion, let's all get in the same, yeah, book, same book, which is the mind of Christ. Amen. He said also he baptized the household of Stephanus. That's all three right. people. Uh, right. Well, if the household, that might be more than that. Mm -hmm. Besides, I know he, he don't think, even think he baptized any other person all in right. the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. except the, the two men he named at the last verse and then the household of Stephanus, which could have been, you know, a lot of people. He said, uh, 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 other than that, I don't even think I ever baptized anybody else in the name of Jesus. All right. For Christ sent me here not to baptize, All right. but to preach the gospel. Preach See, I was born in the greater Emmanuel Temple Holiness mm -hmm. Church. Bishop Jackson planted that mm -hmm. seed in my, in my heart. Yeah. He was the one who was sent to preach the gospel. Yes, and is. when the seed took root in my heart and I gave up to be baptized, it was Ella Brock. Yes. who took me down. He yes. was the water man. Yes. It was yes. his job to take him down in the name of Jesus. So Paul is saying that here. Yes. God sent me here to preach the gospel preach to you. Gospel. Mm -hmm. He didn't send me here to baptize, All right. but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of my own mm -hmm. words, mm -hmm. lest I make the cross of Christ All of right. none effect. All right. If I go to talking about myelin this and myelin that and no. I this and no. I that, in your mind, you, I'm diminishing the cross of Christ. Amen. Preach Jesus. Preach Jesus. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. For the preaching of the cross mm -hmm. is to them that perish All right. foolishness. foolishness. So you hear somebody talking about, hey, it, it, this ain't the dispensation for the mm -hmm. preaching of the cross. Mm -hmm. You can look at them and say, look out. foolishness. Look out. You hear somebody saying, oh, oh, uh, we ain't got to be baptized. Uh, you can look at them and you can say, foolishness. foolishness. Mm -hmm. To them that perish, mm -hmm. you want to know that somebody is going to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Find the person who is talking about this ain't necessary. You ain't got to be baptized. A cross of Christ is of love. You can know. Mm -hmm. Paul said, right. for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish. Mm -hmm. Foolishness. You can know that person is perishing. That person going to hell. Amen. You can know that. And that's something you got the power to the identify. Power. Right. Folks who are on their way to hell. Right. Those who are saying that the preaching of the cross of Christ is of none effect. They think it's foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. I told you that this, this, this our chapter wasn't written to the center. Mm -hmm. It's the power of God right. to us. Verse yes. 19, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. Yes. Ain't nothing sadder than seeing a person who all your life you have thought of as such a wise person. Mm -hmm. yep. To see them perish in complete foolishness. I've seen it. Like Nebuchadnezzar, he yep. out there and he growing long fingernails yep. like a bird and, yep. and feathers on his yep. back because he wasn't, couldn't, wasn't bathing and cleaning. Mm -hmm. he, and this, this man dropped down from king yep. to such a sad, yep. sad case. And we have people like that now. Today they all love high and mighty and big and bright. Yep. And before the end, they, they're just yeah. reduced to mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Where is the wise? Wake Verse up. 20. Wake up and listen. Where is the scribe, the writers? Where is the disputer of this world? Mm -hmm. Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? Mm-hmm. See, see, when you look at this world, you get to thinking that uh, an egg uh, developed a ch into a chicken. All right. Then somebody going to say, well, how could, where did the egg come from? Well, then I guess then the, then the, the egg just uh, came out of the ocean as a single cell animal and he, all this foolishness. Mm -hmm. And then they come up with a with a a, a, a a way to explain that yeah we were monkeys one time. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you the truth. If I was ever a monkey, it seemed like by now I'm 68 years old. By now 
something monkey would have came out of me. I've had children. They don't. They, they were children. They were humans. Yeah. I came from my mom, my dad. They came from their mom. Well, we got generation after generation from Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Not one monkey yet. Mm -hmm. Not one other monkey born. Mm -hmm. But they still want to believe that we can't. We. Say. I sound like my mama and my Say. sisters. I look like my mamas and my sister and my grandma and them. Because I came from them. Amen. In the same sense that I look and act and sound like them, something monkey should have showed up by now. All right. Foolishness. Foolish. God has made foolish mm -hmm. the wisdom mm -hmm. of this world. this world. See, you think a tree grew out of the ground as a tiny sprout mm -hmm. and, and raised itself up. Mm -mm. God spoke a word. Yes, he did. And said, come forth. Yeah. And that tree came forth. Been doing it for years. You think water is, is the connection together of hydrogen and two molecules of oxygen. In your wisdom. No. Mm -hmm. Water was, uh, the face of the deep, the scripture say it was always mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Water covered the face of the deep That's when right. Almighty God, who Hallelujah. made it? Almighty oh God, honey. God did it. God spoke the word and brought Man. these things into in existence. So, so your knowledge, your wisdom. I know you got to go to school. I had to go too. I had to go in there and learn everything they told me to learn. Mm -hmm. And I learned it. Yep. But when I got saved, I started mixing that stuff with spirit. Mm -hmm. I see the spirit of the things now, not the letter. Amen. I understand that when I'm standing by that vast ocean and seeing that water come and go. I know that in the beginning, God breathed on it. Mm-hmm. And when you breathe on something, you breathe out, you inhale, and you exhale. And when you're standing there looking at that water, you see now with a spiritual sense that that water is, is reacting to the breath of God. Amen. The inhalation and the exhalation of God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we yawn, don't we? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. If God yawned, yeah. I mean, you might have a, 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 a tsunami. <laughs> you might have a wave 200 feet high. We hiccup, don't we? Mm -hmm. If God hiccup, you might be out on the middle of that ocean in one of them huge, huge ships. Mm -hmm. And and uh, it's, it's like the Titanic. It's unsinkable out there. Yeah. And then you hear, hear something or feel something, and that big ship go to rocking. Yeah. And you, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> you mm -hmm. need to look at everything mm -hmm. with the mind of the Spirit. Amen. Verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. See, that's why you don't know God, because you are focusing on and embracing the wisdom of this world. Amen. You need to let that go. Let it go. You need to understand Amen. that you don't understand nothing, except you understand it with the mind of, of God. Amen. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to Amen. save them that believe. So you got a chance. Got to believe. So you've been... You've been Thinking that the world was this and that and all that. And you don't believe the word that says that the, the things that are seen, the scripture says in Hebrews, were not made of things which do appear. All right. It's right there. Right now there. you're hearing by preaching. Somebody getting in the microphone and they and they and they all excited about what God has unctioned them to say. And now your, your mind has changed. Mm -hmm. God chose that. That by the foolishness of preaching mm -hmm. to save them that Amen. believe. That believe. All you got to do is believe. For the Jews require a sign. And the Greeks seek after wisdom. Some people ain't going to do nothing. Well, I, I ain't going nowhere until the Lord wet this Amen. cotton ball Amen. with water. So God wet the cotton ball with water. But, you know, the, a, a person who's like that, that ain't going to satisfy them. No. That same joker, after he wet it with water, he said, well, I ain't going to believe it unless God dried the water up out of it. <laughs> so God dried the water out of the cotton ball. That, 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 well, I ain't going to believe it unless God do this. Unless God, a, a person who requires a sign, that they're just not a person of belief. That's right. You Down need to stop tumble. that. Doubting. Doubting. You, you, you need to stop that. Mm -hmm. The Greeks seek after wisdom. Oh my God! All my life, I, I, I the uh, thinking yeah. man. You know, you know that thinking man. It's a statue of a, of a yeah. man, and he's sitting there with his yeah, head. Right. And, and, you know, and the Thank Greeks you. got them big statues and Thank stuff, you. and they got they uh, uh, books in their arms, and mm -hmm. you know, they seek after wisdom, mm -hmm. after the wisdom of the world, though. World. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews 
the Amen. crucifixion of Jesus Christ is a stumbling block. Amen. A stumbling block. Yep, because they're looking for a sign. Every baby Amen. born. Let me check that baby. See if that's yeah. Jesus. Amen. Jesus came and, and went and he done sat down on the right Amen. hand. Y'all still Amen. checking to see is the Messiah coming. He coming. We preach Jesus a stumbling block to you. All right. And to the Greeks, foolishness. Foolishness. Because it, it, they can't they can't take their pencil and add two plus two and come up with four. Mm -hmm. Every time they do two plus two, they come up with 365. Mm -hmm. Because you you can't uh, uh, handle God in our little minute minds. That's right. Who has known the mind of God? That's right. So the Greeks think it's foolishness. But unto them which are called. Both Jews and Greeks. Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. God packaged his power in the body of a man, y'all. Named Jesus Christ and sent him to this earth to save those who would believe. God packaged his wisdom in a book. Yes, Call the Bible. Amen. You want to have the wisdom of God, study your Bible. Study. You want to know the mind of God, study yes, your Bible. Like you want to know what God's thinking? Yes, read your Bible. Study your Bible. When he got through him putting it all in there, he said, it is finished. It is finished. That means it wasn't nothing else that needed to be added nope. or subtracted. Nope. Everything that Jesus did was not written in that book. Mm -hmm. Because the scriptures say, had he, had he everything that was it. written, ha, ha, that he done was written, that the world could not contain the books. No. But he put what was necessary for you mm -hmm. to find the light find it. and walk oh, toward yeah. salvation. Mm -hmm. It's enough. That's it. It's enough to save you Amen. and the whole wide world. Yes, it is. 26. For you see your calling, brethren, mm -hmm. how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Mm -hmm. See? The, you would think that, you know, the wisest people, the people that you got way up on, the, that God would surely yeah. call them mm -hmm. to be ministers and preachers and pastors and teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you hear the testimony of the pastors and preachers and teachers, you'd be like, yeah. oh, my God, that's just mm -hmm. like me. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the lineage of Jesus Christ. I mean, he got prostitutes in his lineage. Mm -hmm. Your lineage is like, you know, your grandma, your, the, the way the, when you look back at your roots, your uh, tree, yeah, family tree, mm -hmm. all the people when he had murderers in there. He had um, mm -hmm. adulterers in there and, and fornicators and, mm -hmm. and prostitutes and all that. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the ones that he choose to preach this gospel are those whose hearts have been changed mm -hmm. from them. Amen. Your best preacher, the best one that's going to pull drug addicts off the street is a person who was there, yeah. bound yeah. by the drug, no one like. found a way free. Yeah. And now he's, he's, he's determined mm -hmm. to pull everybody he can up out yeah, of there. The best. Verse 29, mm -hmm. God chose the foolish things of the world mm -hmm. to confound the wise. <laughs> Confound mm. means to confuse them. Right. Folks be confused when they see why yeah. every every Friday she on there screaming and hollering and all excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't understand. They don't understand. <laughs> Verse 27 at the last of And God has chosen the weak things of the world right. to confound the, the things which are mighty. That's right. See? He ain't go out there and choose the, the, the world's strongest man and all that to come. Uh, God saved you up. Mm -mm. Out of the mouth of babes and serpents. Preaching the word of God Amen. with power and Amen. demonstration. Yes, Verse 28. The base things of the world, the things that, that people look down on, that's under the bottom. Mm -hmm. The things which are despised. God has chosen those things. Yea, and the things which are not. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah. God has chosen things which are not Amen. to bring to naught the things that are. Yes. <laughs> See, this thing is a faith walk. Yes. Faith is not what you have, what you can handle, and what you can feel. Faith is what you believe. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter what the diagnosis is. Mm -hmm. If you can believe Amen. that you were healed mm -hmm. by the blood that Christ shed on Calvary, something you can't touch it. They can't print it out and, and write it and write and send it home with you and say, Yeah, I looked in you and Look I saw out. that faith was in there. Look out. They can't do that. Amen. But that. The things that are not is what God uses to destroy yep. the things that are. All right. Verse 29. That no flesh should glory in his presence. No. 
Mm-mm. God hates flesh. All flesh. Babies flesh. Yeah, old you. folks flesh. Children flesh. You got, you got a heart. I wouldn't do my grandma like that. Yeah, they just yeah. ought to be beat for doing their grandma. God ain't in love with your grandma flesh. Mm-hmm. He ain't in love with nobody flesh. He in love with the spirit mm-hmm. that's inside the flesh. He's in, mm-hmm. in love with the part that is life. That is eternal life. A spirit, the life of a spirit is eternal. The flesh is just a dress that the the, the the flesh is just a dress that the spirit lives in, so you can see it and you can communicate with it and you can mm-hmm. handle it. But, but after that spirit is ready and it goes back to God, that flesh, I don't care if the flesh sitting on this bench, it's it gonna sit right there until mm-hmm. just gravity pulls it over. If the flesh lay down. Lay right there. I, oh. When I in in my neighborhood that I was raised in, it was this old mean man who who was always he. We just knew he was gonna die alone because he was so evil and so mean. Yeah, he did. Mm. He died alone. He had been dead for two weeks yep. when they found him, um, and the reason they found him was because of a stench right. that had spread over yeah, the valley yeah, where yeah. we live. Yep. Two weeks. Yep. When his spirit left his flesh, his body could not come and tell us, y'all, I'm, I'm dead now. Nope. You can come move. Nope. It, powerless. powerless. And it obeyed Almighty God. Amen. It started turning back yeah. to the dust. It was leaking all kind of oh, fluid. Right. That's right. It was turning the dust. How do you how do you turn the dust? Yeah. Get all the moisture out. Yeah. It was leaking Thank fluid you. and oh my God. Yeah. It was do it was obeying what God Amen. commissioned it to do. Amen. He couldn't move. move. He couldn't tell nobody he had died. Nope. And probably if he went to heaven, he wasn't studying about what condition we found his body in. He was awful. The the, uh, uh, Bushalon came down to our house. We lived down the hill from Bushalon came down there and asked us if we had gloves and, you know, all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. They put on five or six pairs of gloves because they say this kind of stink, once it gets on you, it it takes more than one washing to get it off. So they put several pairs of gloves. Yep. They put long sleeve things yep. on. We had them yep. covered all like that. Yep. We had rags around their, their noses. Right. Them two young men. I bet they hate they had that assignment that day. Right. I'm just trying to tell you that you are spending your life catering to something that is a stinking, nasty yep. thing in God's sight. No Anything that's nasty and stinking and no worthless good. in God's sight, why are you pampering it and, and, and going to hell for it? Amen. Verse 39, but ye are in Christ, who is of God, have made us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Wouldn't you rather be redemption, sanctification, righteousness? God is made unto us wisdom. God is made unto us because, you know, believe we believe God. So to us, he is wisdom. Amen. For us, his righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Yes, not is. foolishness. Yes. Preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who are not saved, who are bound to be destroyed. Verse 31. That according as it is written. I told you. Find your answer in that book. Yes, he yes. that glorifieth, let him glory in the Lord. So you glorifying, you better be glorying in the Lord. Do it. No other other thing. No glory Amen. for yourself. Amen. Even though Jesus Christ gave, he, he told his father, I have the glory that you gave me, Amen. I have shared it with Definitely. people. Still, that's his glory. Yes, he, he didn't say it, that now now they can glorify themselves and all that. No, we glorify God. That's his glory. We're in Second Corinthians. Let me shut up and get this done. Amen. Reading through the Bible. Amen. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came Amen. not with excellency of speech Amen. or of wisdom. Declaring unto you the testimony of God. Paul said, I ain't come to you with big words. For I determined not to know anything among you. Say, Jesus Christ and him crucified. I didn't come in here and try to find out what that brother doing. (laughs) What that brother doing. I want to know what that sister doing. He, he, he He was determined only to know Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness. When you cried, I was with you. When you lost loved ones, I was there with you. And in fear, when you were scared because you didn't have nothing to eat and you didn't know where your next paycheck was coming from, he was with you. And in much trembling, when there were earthquakes and divers places and storms and stuff, Paul was right there among you. He didn't allow himself to be put in a separate category as a God or something. He was right there with you. And my speech and my preaching 
was not in of enticing words of man. Well, I didn't come in here saying, uh, uh, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this car to oh, impress no. you with oh, my no. big words. No. He wasn't saying that. No. But in demonstration no. of the spirit and power of God. Right now, you, go. you are experiencing the demonstration of the spirit and power of God because Amen. you are understanding this word right here in a way that you've not understood it before. Yes. Not because it's mild and teaching, but because the spirit of God is enlightening your Amen. mind because you are allowing it mm -hmm. to do that. That's good. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. Faith, that, faith don't stand in no wisdom of nobody. But in the power of God. How be it? Verse 6. We speak wisdom among them that are perfect. All right. Now how are you perfect? You perfect in Christ, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. Yet not the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of this world is not perfect. This world can't even decide what time it is. Yeah. So That's why we, it, it, twice a year, I think we have to change our clocks and stuff. Yeah. This world cannot even decide what time it is. Nope. So we, it's not in the wisdom of this world, yeah. nor of the princes of this world. The princes are the, the governors, the, the, mm -hmm. the Lord have mercy. The prince, Donald Trump was a prince for a while. Mm -hmm. Biden is the prince now. Mm -hmm. So we know that it's not in their wisdom. Because if it was, it would come to naught. Verse 6 right here. All right. The, prince, the wisdom of people comes to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Right. I told you. <laughs> Even the hidden wisdom. Amen. The stuff is hidden. And it's revealed at a time. Mm -hmm. And to certain people. Nor of the princes of this world. That come to naught. We speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom. Which God ordained before the world. Unto our glory. Amen. God hid some things. That's not going to be open until it's time to open them. I was preaching about four years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, at one of my friends. And, and, it, it, and the, the theme was. Look where he brought me from. Yeah. So as I studied. I decided to show enough look. All the way back to Adam and Eve. And as I did, I came to Noah and I, I started thinking on the, the uh, ark. Yeah, all right. And God laughed at me. He said, them animals ain't in that ark like you think they are. And I'm like, what you talking about? And I, I talk to God just like that. He, he, see, because in me, if I see a picture of the animals in the ark, if I don't see two giraffes and two lions, you know, I'm like, mm -mm, that person, you know, he's not enlightened that. So God said all of them is in a and God explained to me that he was talking on the molecular level. I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, you know that in that ark there were only uh, uh, four men and four women. Yeah. They were all of the same race. They were brothers and daddy and the wives that they chose from the area where they live. Mm -hmm. But God said, but on the other side of the ark, that when they started having children, Bring it down. all the races came forth out of their lawn. Yes, indeed. So, Inside of the humans was every other, the DNA of every other human. Mm -hmm. So likely Noah's first set of grandchildren. Some were black, some was white, some was Spanish looking, some was Chinese and all that. Noah's grandchildren because they had to start replenishing the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he told me now on that ark, read that Bible again, you'll get it. It says every kind, two of each kind. In my mind, I thought it was saying two of each animal. So, if, he, if they had on that ark two tiny goldfish, the goldfish represent the kind called fish. Mm -hmm. When they got on the other side of the ark, their babies might have been the whales, all right. leviathans, dolphins, and all of that. But yeah. on the ark was just two tiny goldfish. Tiny goldfish. And he went on there, I said, God, why haven't you told me this before? Mm -hmm. And he said, because it wasn't time for you to know. I'm like, oh my God. So here, I'm, I'm telling you this right now. It's hidden wisdom that God has ordained before the world was formed right. to our glory. Right. And when it's time for us to understand it, when it's time for us to know, then he opens up wisdom to us. Verse 8, which none of the princes of this world knew. Yeah. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. 
No, See, the princes of this world ain't interested in your salvation. No. And just like they beat Paul and crucified all of the all of the apostles who was trying to get salvation to you and get you enlightened and free, they would have killed Jesus. Mm -hmm. Had they known that he was the lamb, the lamb. who was come to Amen. bring you redemption. Amen. They would have killed him. They didn't know. Verse 9. But it is written, I have not seen, ear, nor ear heard, right. neither has it even entered into the hearts of men, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. When you love somebody, they don't have to call you up and say, um, uh, do you still love me? Ha have you been in my bank account and took my money? Did, did you steal my car? You you know you know my my TV missing. Did you come over here and steal my TV? If you love somebody, right. they already know <laughs> that you true. ain't gonna do nothing like that to them because you love them. But God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, Amen. yea, the deep things of God. Real Verse good. eleven. For unto for what man knoweth the things of a man save the Spirit of a man? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to know about a man, ask a man. Amen. A man knows about the spirit of a man. Don't come asking me. Yep. And, and, you know, I understand these women that having these boys and say, I, 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 I got to become his mama and his daddy. <laughs> Baby, you need to find a surrogate, a big brother right. for him. Because the, no man knows the things of a man but save a man. the spirit of a man. That's it. Which is in him. That's his it. spirit is on the inside mm -hmm. of him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit. So if you want to know the things of God, you got to get the Spirit of God on the inside of you. Verse 12. Now we have received not the Spirit of this world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given unto us of God. You don't even know what benefit package you got. You got some people like that in the natural. You better believe it. I got a new job, girl. Well, how much you going to get? They ain't told me yet. Well, well, what days you going to work? I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Well, how many vacations? I, I don't know none of that. How you working for somebody and don't know the benefit package? Yeah, Before the benefit you sign package. on the dotted line, they might give you $3 an hour yeah. instead of 15 mm -hmm. or 120 mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which things also we speak. Not in the words which All man's right. wisdom teaches, mm -hmm. but which the Holy Ghost teaches, Holy Ghost comparing teaches. spiritual things Amen. with spiritual. Mm -hmm. But the natural man receive not the things of the Spirit of God, no. for they are foolishness unto him. Mm -hmm. Neither can he know them. The natural man ain't, ain't going to understand if I got a pain in my side mm -hmm. while I'm putting my hand on my side saying, in the name of Jesus yep. Christ, I, the they don't understand man. it. Go, you better go to the doctor. Yep. Go, you better take a pill. Yep. Go, you better have that surgery. Yep. But the natural man receive not the mm -hmm. things of the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. for they are foolishness unto him. Mm -hmm. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually mm -hmm. discerned or right. understood. That's it. But he that is spiritual mm -hmm. judges all things, mm -hmm. yet he himself is judged of no man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all can't judge me. All right. You got to judge this, this word. For who had known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Mind of Christ. See, the, the princes of the world can't just, well, I'm going to pay $15,000. Give me the mind of God. <laughs> they can't do that. Mm. But because of faith and Love acceptance, him. God has given to us his mind. Verse 16. For who hath known the mind of God yes. that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of God. Mm -hmm. See, that's a big difference. Somebody knowing the mind of God and somebody having the mind of God. Right. We got the mind of God in us. Right. My goodness. That Paul is something else, ain't he, y'all? That, 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 that's just beautiful. I'm going to have to stop right there. I know Dun Dun is laughing because I always try to get at least three of them in, in there. <laughs> Woo. So we're just wanting you to remember that this is the Free Gospel Deliverance Center of the Apostolic Faith and Bishop Don Hudson is our pastor and founder. Our mission statement is coming to us and we will do the good. Find that in Numbers 10 and 29. And I am Overseer Malin Hudson. Yes, yes. That's written, doesn't it?
We want you to meet us on Sunday night. When Bishop Donnie Hudson will be the speaker. Amen. That's right. Our minister, Reginald Dudley, is, is so faithful. God has blessed us with him. And, and I promise you, if we were paying somebody to come and be with us, they couldn't be no faith, more, no. No more faithful. No. I mean, Reginald has been with us for well over a year. Amen. And I don't remember. Most of the times when I appear in the in the service to go to church, he already on the piano. Amen. He That's just dedication. loves us, dedication. and we love him. He wants to be with us, and we want to be with him. And we thank God for giving him to us. I also got a phone call from um, Bishop Darren Ramsey. He said he just want to come over here. I, I told Bishop, I said, you know, them brothers trying to make Friday night into a, a regular church service. <laughs> Uh, Friday night is supposed to be a, a Bible class kind of reading through the Bible. They, it, 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 I, do it. I, I don't know what it's going to end up How being because do these people are wanting to come. Mm -hmm. And so we open up the church and, and, and we say you Let's come. We want you to join us also on Wednesday night where Dawn and the little boys Hudson will be um, bringing that, that word. I promise you she, she has a, a, a deeper level of knowledge because yes. she knows in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew. You know, so she can tell you a word and tell you what the word really means. Amen. Amen. Me, I can tell you a word and, 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 and tell you what I know of, of it. Amen. One thing that I learned in Hebrew is just so beautiful to me that Yahweh means the, the first part, Yah, is feminine. And the last part, Way, is masculine. Yeah. So the name of our God has both genders. So what you mad at? <laughs> what you mad at? You got some people that be in on their soapboxes because somebody named their little girl Madison. They think Madison is a boy name. Yeah. You need to get out, get, get over yourself. Amen. Anyway, we love you so much. Amen. I don't have any announcements because you know I'm here by myself tonight, and uh, Don Don gave me a, a an in service on how to operate this this thing here. And uh, so I've been, I've been uh, working. It's, it's just too much to try to handle, and and uh, do the the preaching and all at the same time. But I, I think I did pretty good. She'll be, she'll be calling me to, to tell me, you know, how it went. Anyway, we look forward to seeing you guys again on uh, on on next on Sunday night. And we love you so much. Hugs and kisses. Where's my hugs and kisses? And listen, she told me to do this. Okay, let me, let me show you what Dawn told me to do. She told me to do this. Uh, okay, if you want to um, help us, assist us financially, uh, sow into one guitar. And I promise you, we ain't going to do nothing but what God commands us to do with your, with, your, with your seed. And also, what else she told me to put? She says you find us on, you can find us on um, YouTube. 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 At Deliverance, we have probably 200 different programs that you you can watch on there. And also, you can find us on my page at Marlon Hudson. And on Bishop Hudson's page, we're going to share the broadcast, all of them, to his page. And you can also find them by finding the Free Gospel Deliverance Center of the Apostolic Faith yeah. on, on, face, yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. All right, now what else did she tell me to do? Okay, she told me take those back off and then put... Uh, follow us, like us, and subscribe because I can I can never think of the word subscribe. But uh, so she made me a a banner uh, with that on it, and we appreciate you, so much. and we love you. We send out to you hugs and kisses. But I can't find the hug. Oh, there they are. We send out to you hugs and kisses. You gonna sing for us? We're going to ask Bridget. And the church says, Amen. 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 Let the church sing.